What's up everyone, welcome to my channel again and in this episode of Super Automotive Program and headline of today it's all about new cars oh, first of all, let's talk about one of my uh, favourite cars the Volkswagen Arteon well, I'm the person that who likes a sedan by sedan I mean it, it includes the hatchback, the wagon, everything and instead of SUV or MPV I like big size sedan and Volkswagen Arteon is a full size sedan car and what I find it most interesting is the Arteon R, the wagon Arteon R well, I should not call it a wagon they call it a shooting brake but basically they are the same thing uh, station wagon, estate or shooting brake they are actually just, just the same thing a sedan with an extra space at the back that's what a sedan or shooting brake is and the and Arteon R the R means it is a sport variant and while the Arteon R was supposed to be powered by something bigger than 2.0 something more interesting than the 4 cylinder they plan to build it with a VR6 which is uh, basically a hybrid of inline 6 and V6 it is the most special engine they ever created by Volkswagen of course there, there is also an inline 5 under the Volkswagen group but then they, they decide to go for a 4 cylinder 2.0 turbo instead I, well what's the reason I don't know why you should put a VR6 or inline 5 something spe more special than a 4 cylinder because Golf is already using a 4 cylinder turbo so that's the Arteon R and next the Toyota GR Yaris well GR stands for Gazoo Racing it is something like last time they called it a TRD like there is a 2.0 Supra, there is a 3.0 Supra and then there is a Supra TRD there is a A86, there is also a A86 TRD and now there is a sportier or racing division called GR Gazoo Racing and last time there is a Toyota Yaris from Gazoo also it features a 1.2 litre supercharged engine and it has a 6 speed manual and it is a very nice hot hatch, I mean it is supercharged it has 6 speed manual on a subcompact car so it is really a nice car but then the Yaris GR come out and it features a 1.5 engine it's like eh. and, and of course they are different car one is called uh, GR, one is called GRMN and it just makes so much difference between the be, between GR and GR and GRMN next Honda Civic is ending their production well there is quite a sad news because Honda Civic has a very long history I mean I'm not talking about Civic is a nice car or bad car but after all it, it is a car with a very long history and they just ended I mean the Japanese uh, the Japanese Honda just ended I don't know is there any I don't know is there any plan for the European Honda to continue the CV hatchback or not but Japanese uh, Honda is ending and I don't know what's the reason for them to stop I mean it is fair to say that City is a sub, sub compact CV is a compact Accord is a mid range and Legend is the full size and, and if they stop the production of a CV a, a compact car what will then replace a compact replacement and since CRV is a is based on Civic, will CRV also ending the production too? I don't know. What, what do you think about Honda Civic ending? Comment down in the comment section below. And next, Kia is releasing some new technology. It's clutched by wire. Well, being a manual driver, which means my car can do this. Yep, my car can do this and you can't do it in auto but one thing about manual is there is something called rev hack and it is very annoying especially the, the number one reason that you buy a manual car is to have fun and then there is a rev hack there is a delay in the throttle delay in, delay in the uh, RPM dropping down it just destroys the funness of a manual car I know it's, it, it's for a good fuel efficient or good uh, carbon emission but it just destroyed the fun of manual car and that is the throttle about the clutch well 
persona is now using a hydraulic clutch. I mean, most of the car nowadays are using a hydraulic clutch. The hydraulic clutch still physically connected to the, the clutch. It's just using a liquid to help you with the force you apply. So the clutch is lighter. But it is still physically connected to the clutch. So you have a like instant in, instant response with your clutch. Imagine imagine your clutch is no longer physically connected and it's and it's connected by wire. Well I know electronic can be very fast like even the condenser is using a, a cameless valve. The electronic can be very fast. But will the manufacturer spend that much money on a small car? And I don't think that they will spend that much money on a on a cheaper on a cheaper model of their of their range. So good idea? I think no. Just take the manual to the most traditional, most fun manual. And if you want to put some technology into manual, well, you can implement the sequential ma manual transmission. Like most of the supercar, like Lamborghini, Avantedo, those car, those car actually actually not auto. Those car are actually sequential manual. And yup, the sequential manual shift the gear automatically for you. That is the definition of modern manual. That it is a manual, but it shift automatically for you. And you have to put into manual mode to, to shift the gear yourself. That is the definition of modern manual. Which does not take out the fun, but keep the fun and improve it. So that's it for today. Click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And of course, my video posting is not very frequently because I'm very busy. And I just find a little, like one or two hour gap in between and I can make this video so it is actually so it is actually quite quite busy and I hope I can find time to make more video so hopefully I see you in the, in the next video hopefully next week and yep yeah.